Bakker, have you prepared the tables that I asked you about? I'll have a meeting for one hour, and I want to see them after that. Sure. I have to check these tables before my boss comes back. She is so aggressive when she sees any missing values. Oh my god, all of these phone numbers are missing. I have to find a way to fill the empty cells. I cannot just put any number. I'll put 999-999-999 so no one can call it. Oh, it is perfect. I guess the data is ready and I can check it. Sure, here you go. Let me check the tables. Are you serious? What is happening here? The table says that for some patients, the blood pressure is zero. Are they coming to the hospital to check if they're dead or not? The body mass index values contain zeros. Come on. Let me check the second table. A phone number contains all nines? How much will it cost me to get a similar number? Excuse me, how do you know all of this? Do you manually go through all the tables? Okay, let me show you. This is a system called Fahes, which has been developed by our friends at QCRI. It detects the types of fake values, which they call the disguised missing values. The system detects different types of disguised values, syntactical outliers, numerical outliers, and fake values that replace random empty cells. The system checks the frequency of using the fake value as a signal for the used value to be fake. The system also makes it easier for me to confirm if the value is a disguised missing value or just a false positive that I, that I can ignore by showing evidence on why it, is, it has been considered as a disguised value. For example, this 90 has been repeated many times and it is clear, it is a clear outlier. Do you see that? Yes. Impressive. So you told me that they check for the frequency and work on syntactical outliers, numerical outliers, and values that replace missing that random values? Yeah. Great. I know what you're thinking about. You're trying to reverse engineer Fahas' approach to find ways to bypass the checks it does and be able to disguise the values unnoticeably. I can tell you that our friends will continue to improve their system to detect the values that you may use to fool the current system. Moreover, I guess this work will encourage other researchers from around the world to start working on this challenging problem as it has been dead for almost a decade. This would be similar to the endless war between the computer security community and the hackers. For more information, you can check the paper.